Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha. Today I'm doing a what I got for my almost two-year-old toddler son. Alexander will be two on February 16th. So here is what I got him maybe to give you some ideas if you haven't got your shopping done or just enjoy the video just because. So to start off, let's see. So I don't have all of his stuff yet. Um, I will have a part two to this video coming up probably this weekend by the time you guys are seeing this. So right now, this is a little more than half of his stuff. I have his one big item as well as a bunch of smaller items. His stocking stuffers, I will do in a separate video to show you guys what I put in his stocking. And if you're interested, I will make a video also of what I've put in my husband's stocking. Meanwhile, excuse me, somebody is calling me on Messenger, so I'll be back. All right, guys, sorry for that slight interruption. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So first, I have these little construction trucks. Alexander has really been into playing with cars and trucks and pushing them around and just playing pretend. So he has a dump truck as well as a bulldozer. Excuse me, this is a wheel loader. Um, they are for two plus. And this came from Dollar General. It was $10, as you may be able to see there on the sticker. Next is this bucket of blocks. He has not played with blocks really yet. So I feel like this would be a good little set to kind of get him started on building little things. And this says it is meant for one year and up. So the next thing may seem a little kiddish to some. Um, this is a little toy camera. This is my first camera. It is for 12 months plus. Alexander loves playing with my phone, taking pictures, so I thought this would be a cute little gift for him. I think he will really enjoy it. Um, like I said, it may be something more babyish to some people, but I really think Alexander would get a kick out of this. Next up, again, it may seem babyish. It is for 12 months plus as well. He loves Mickey Mouse. So it's this little Mickey Mouse, my first microphone. Alexander's really into music and dancing. So it plays little songs. I would turn it on, but Alexander is sleeping right now. So I don't want him to wake up because he hears Mickey Mouse theme song. So there that is. The next thing is this Little Tykes, um, Little People. Fisher Price. It's for ages one to five. So it's just this cute little Jeep and it's got one little boy in the uh, seat there. I'm not sure if he's removable or not. I can't really tell. I don't know. I guess we'll figure out on Christmas. Next up, um, some of the stuff I got from Walgreens on a sale they had. Buy two toys, get two free. So Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these toys came from Walgreens. So that means I bought four, got four of them free. So here is one, two of the things I got there, which is Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Um, let's see what the age range is on here. It says three plus, but Alexander likes taking things apart, putting them back. So I figured he would get a kick out of being able to mix and match parts of the body. And maybe that will help him learn, you know, ears, nose, lips, etc. Um, because it is taking him a little bit longer to learn those parts of the body. Um, if, if nobody knows, my son is trilingual. Um, he hears Spanish, Spanish, oh, scratch that. He hears English, Romanian, and Hungarian, mostly Hungarian and English in the house, but he does have family that speaks Romanian as well. So he speaks a mixture of all of them right now, just little words here and there. Um, so it has taken him a little bit longer to learn words, which the doctor said that's perfectly normal for any multilingual child. So another two things I got him from Walgreens is Mickey and Minnie. Yes, I know Minnie is meant for a girl, but I thought it'd be cute to have the set. Again, he loves, loves, loves watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, um, Mickey and the Roots the Racers, all of that good stuff. So I thought this would be a cute little set. Again, you can push the little characters down and the car goes spinning and rolling by itself. But again, I don't want to do that because Alexander is sleeping. So it says push the head and the car will go forward. It makes a little sound. I've played it before just out of curiosity. So I thought those would be real cute. 
to follow along with the Mickey theme. Again, kind of babyish, 12 months plus, but he will enjoy it. It makes sound. It's a little book. Whoops, hopefully he doesn't hear that. Um, wasn't expecting that. Phosphate five page storybook with electronic lights and sounds teaches shapes, numbers, and more. And this uh, actually can go in English and Spanish, which is pretty cool. I don't think the kid needs to add another language in right now. Let him learn the three that he deals with now. But later on, I feel like it would be cool to have a little Spanish feature if that's something. Uh, let's see. Mama's gonna get in trouble with these toys tonight. All right, so something that doesn't make sound. Let's go for the last two from Walgreens. That would be these two sets of dinosaurs. He likes watching Gigantosaurus, so, and he likes imitating the dinosaur sound sometimes. So I thought it'd be real cute for him to have some little dinosaur figurines. So both of them have two dinosaurs, one bigger, one smaller, and then a little fake little plastic tree. It says it's ages three and up, but I think it would be great for Alexander at almost two. Oh, nope. I lied. That wasn't the last two from Walgreens. Let me dig under here. These are the last two from Walgreens. There was a little bit that um, McDonald's had in their little Happy Meals of Hot Wheels and their um, toys. And he loved them, loved them, loved them, loved them. And there was one particular lady that works at McDonald's. Every time she seen him, she would give him handfuls of these things. So he grew to love Hot Wheels. And this was another part of the sale. So I grabbed him two of the tracks. This one has a flame jumper. And then this one is an electric tower. I think he would just get a kick out of playing with those. He likes putting the tracks together and playing with the cars. And to go with that, I thought about initially getting these for stocking stuffers, but he has so much for his stocking already. So I'm going to package them together. There are six more little Hot Wheels. They're individually packed. I will throw those in a box together and wrap that. I will also be doing him a little package of like coloring books and crayons. I have two coloring books for him right now. I need to go grab more. This is Ninja Turtles and then Batman. I seen at Dollar Tree, they have a, I think a puppy dog pal Christmas one and they have all kinds at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna go grab some at Dollar Tree. This came from um, Dollar General's clearance sale. So I just grabbed those two. I still need to grab him some crayons and make a little packet for him of um, color and books and crayons. When he went to daycare, when I picked him up, sometimes he would be sitting at the table coloring. So I thought that would be a cute little activity for him to start trying to do at home. And then I have, I didn't get him very many clothes for Christmas. He already has so many clothes, but I thought these were real cute. He wears joggers a lot. It's more comfortable for him around the house. So I found these two Puma joggers at Ross for $6.99 a piece. The comparable value, this one says it was 18 originally. This one says it was 27. This is more a silkier. Um, mm, brain fart. This one is a silkier sweatpant material. This one's a thicker fleece material. So that would be nice for him during the winter. And I grabbed those in size 2T. I struggle finding him pants that fit him in the waist and length. He is a taller kid, so what fits him good in the waist is too short, and what's good lengthwise is too big in the waist. So I try to find these that's real cinched up. And here is his final item. This is his big gift. I got him a 12 inch Huffy bike. I thought that would be nice for him to try to go out and learn during the springtime and go into the summer. This is really an all year long gift, so I really think he'll enjoy that. It'll take a little bit of getting used to for him, but he will eventually learn it. But I really feel like he will be really, really excited Christmas morning coming out and seeing this. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button. I'd love to have you guys part of our family. Until next time. Bye guys.